<clears throat> We're live, or so it tells me. I'm just catching up on the chat. Wow, Mitsu just like completely scoffed at me. <laughs> he thinks I'm trash. I'm glad Marie and Jacqueline are feeling better. Hi, Shima. Hi, Gloria. Yeah, taking a nap after this, great idea. Truly, such a wonderful plan. And hi, Emma, 8.25 Sunday morning, wow. Complete opposites. Sarah Beth, hey. <laughs> well done on that alarm setting. I'm proud of you. I'm just, I've, I've got Pepsi Max this time because I figure it's less likely that I'm gonna try and wash my brush in this than in my watercolor water, which is maybe slightly out of frame for you guys. Mm. And it's delicious. Is that gonna cast a shadow? No, we seem to be okay. We seem to be a-okay. Hi, Becky. Hi, Marie. Okay. You guys know what the plan is, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So this is how the weeklies are going at the moment. I'm liking them. Um, I'm a little bit behind on filling things out, but I have actually been doing the habits, which is great. This is going to be pretty, and we're going to just decorate this together today with similar florals to these guys. In the inside, I haven't, I deliberately haven't filled out my spending log stuff because I usually like to blur that out. So I'm going to do that like in the next week sometime because I just didn't want to have to try and cover it for the stream. You know, it's just one of those things where like there are places I visit regularly that it would be obvious that I visit them regularly if I showed them and as much as I think the people who watch my videos and tune into my live streams are all wonderful people, you just never know, you know? So for privacy reasons, we don't we don't share that information on the channel, you know? Hi Annalise, nice to see you. Yes, definitely get that coffee. Are you gonna have a frothy one, Shima? Are you gonna have like a fancy? I definitely had me some frothy tea this morning it was great and then this is going to be a weekly and then over here another weekly which we need because it's sunday night for us here in australia and you are here so i'm gonna need to do some some weekly weekly goodness i am also messing around with the idea of for the next weekly putting a little blob of watercolor behind the heading because i'm just bored you know i'm just bored <laughs> So I figure if I can get some more color on there, great. That, that'll that help to make me happy. So that's the plan. Where should we start? Do we start with flowers and then we do some other stuff and then we go back to flowers? Or do we start with the functional things? Excuse me, Mr. Mitsu. He does this sigh that just makes you feel terrible for existing. <laughs> He'll just kind of look at you and go, <sighs> And you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. He's, he's asking for dinner, even though I gave him some delicious chicken earlier when I was like cooking my dinner. So he's fed, he's had the good stuff, but he does not feel, of course you're gonna do this. Of course you are. I said, can I do my live stream now? And you said, sure, go ahead. And now you've changed your mind. Oh, instant coffee, Shima. I'm sorry, but you're going to really enjoy your first coffee back when you get home. Um, is this working? Is, is, is this working? Because my live thumb, like, YouTube screen is not showing my hands on the journal, which is where they are and have been. So I'm like, does the video appear to be working okay for you guys? <laughs> Because if not, yikes. Okay. My Lumix and my OBS seem to be correct. Hi, Beck! And yes, my point is he is cat. That is correct. Okay, my hands have just appeared. And so has the Mitsu. <laughs> Hello, darling. You are very insistent. You have to come and, and show your face. Okay, but we seem to be we seem to be doing okay now. There's always something with the lives, and now Mitsu's just gonna sit down. Ah, oh, bless us with his tail. <laughs> yep, 
You're funny. You're so funny. Okay. Well, let me just let me just relocate this cat. <laughs> Come here, sweet boy. Oh, goodness me. You're so heavy. All right. I'm going to ask you guys again now that you can see what's actually happening here. So we've got weekly pretty. Weekly this will be pretty, but they'll fold in together like that. And then weekly pretty weekly pretty i guess or other functional thing that i haven't thought of yet so oh goodness me okay i think i might need to keep this one at the front of my screen it's, it doesn't seem to like it when it's inactive so if i keep this here this is good no i, I need this feedback so i can make it work for you guys okay I'm watching the YouTube one to see if it updates. It seems to be. I have to keep my Lumix tether screen at the front or it gets grumpy with me. I'm glad you can hear me at least. <laughs> okay. Excellent. I think we've solved it. Sorry, it's just the, the delay makes it tricky for me to be like is this working and then I have to wait like 30 seconds for YouTube to catch up to what you guys are seeing um I'm gonna ask you guys so this will be weekly pretty weekly obviously because that part's already done weekly pretty weekly pretty do we start with the functional do we do we fill in the weeklies in these spaces or do we start with the pretty let me know I was going to say let me know and I'm going to quickly go feed my cat and come back, but he has abandoned me, so I think we're fine. <laughs> going to drink some Pepsi instead. Also, I got a new desk mat and it's white. My old one was grey and I really wanted a white one, but this one is like half the size, which is a little annoying. So there's a little bit more desk peeking out today, but you know, we work with what we got. Sarah Beth says alternate. Beck says start with the functional. Start with the pretty every time. I I feel that, Rachel. All right, we've got a few pretties. Maybe maybe we start just here because that will need a minute to dry. And we will have to be turning some pages at times. So, I mean, that's, that's fine. That's all, that's all good. We can, we can do that. Let's start with some pretty. It has been a little while since I set these ones up, so I don't entirely remember <laughs> what I did. I thought about trying to watch my video back and see, but then I didn't, so here we are. But I did get some new Pigma Microns because my old ones, I just wore the tip down so much that they were unusable. So that's fun. Fresh pens, although I'm probably going to use the old ones. I think it was the five. I think I did the five here. Where are my pens? We'll do the O1 for little details. And the five. Cool. Yeah, Becky, mostly just curious. Um, I liked to paint when I was younger and I did not, I mean, there was no social media yet really then. So I didn't really think about like what I was doing in terms of other people seeing it. And I sort of missed that, <laughs> but I would just do like, I would just buy a cheap canvas from the craft store and paint it with acrylic paint and be like, well, however it comes out, that's, that's done. Um, so it was kind of like just trying to get back to that, I suppose. Um, and also the fact that they had this watercolor journal and sometimes people ask me for my thoughts on journals and if I haven't tried them, I, I can't say. So I wanted to give it a go. I will admit, I don't think I'm gonna do another watercolor journal for the second half of the year. But then I'm like, does that make the giveaway journal a little redundant <laughs> because it will be all scrapbook all the time again? I don't know, we'll have to see. 
Hi, Angie in Maryland. Maryland. I don't know. I can't. That one's difficult in Australian. Hi, Courtney. Oh, do you mean the pens, Marie? Sorry, I was just looking at it. It was like rough, scratchy. It was like, what? And then it occurred to me, it's probably the pens. Okay, so I had a couple of ideas here. We can make this design somewhat symmetrical, make it like maybe a little swirly swell, or we can do more kind of cornery stuff or just a column. I don't know. Let's, let's make a pole. Hopefully it won't freeze in the time it takes me to make a pole. Start a poll. Which pretty? <laughs> Question mark. Column pretty. Wavy pretty. Corner pretty. Start poll. <laughs> hi deb what time is it for you <laughs> i'm so sorry this is definitely one of those live streams that's like tailored for the uk audience more so than the us audience oh so like continue them you reckon marie like from over here bring it on down bring it on back to you <laughs> Scrapbook is always fun, but like, do we need two Erin scrapbook videos per month of the same thing? I don't know. I mean, they'd be different themes, but like, you know, I don't know. Wavy Pretty is in the lead. Wavy Pretty has 71% of the vote. Hey, Willow Stuff! We're just making these pretty with some watercolor to start with, and then we're going to do some weeklies on some later pages. Oh, nearly 1 a.m. California. <laughs> I'm sorry, there are so many songs about your state that I simply cannot help myself. I actually got a badge the other day for my Morris dancing vest that said my head is 98% song lyrics. And I was like, yeah, that's it, that's me. <laughs> yes, we need to. Okay, well I'm glad I'm glad you think so. Um Wavy Pretty is in the lead, so let's let's roll with that. End pretty end poll start pretty oh Rachel hey sorry I've just noticed I've got a Rachel that I know in real life as well as a Rachel that I don't in the chat hey <laughs> Rachel and I are reading buddies we talk books it's amazing I was actually just saying to Chris the other day Rachel how cool I was like you, you remember Rachel from dance we've been talking about books a lot and it's amazing and he was like that's so nice <laughs> um, so for this first one I'm gonna do some pencil first because I don't remember really how I did this but I, I like Marie's idea where we're gonna like continue it in from here so thanks Marie I'm stealing it do some pretty here oh right they did have centers I couldn't remember um how did I do that flower okay <laughs> we'll do a funny little something that's approximately the vibe, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we did. Cool. Um, hopefully this shows up. That's kind of a hot spot for the light because I have a ring light right here. Um, but I will go over this in pen so you will be able to see what the heck and heck I'm doing at some point. Cross the page. Yeah, I like the idea of having it continue to make it really obvious that this is a Mm, it's not a Dutch door because I didn't cut it off, but it's a flap. <laughs> I don't know, that word doesn't sound right either. Something, you yeah, know. Let's just do some loose stuff as a general vibe and then we'll go from there. Mm. When in doubt, connect things with leaves. That's my approach to life. We'll do another big one because big flowers are fun because they take up a lot of space without you having to do anything. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. 
some more little ones. They don't have to look good at this stage because they're temporary. Um, it would be cool to do one across the middle, but I don't know if I can pull that off without like leaking my watercolors everywhere. So we'll see how we go. And you know, I could open this page out and do it properly, but then I cannot conceptualize French doors? Yeah, they are kind of like French doors, aren't they? <laughs> that open out onto my marvelous bullet journal weekly balcony. Because why the heck not? Let's do another one of those little camellia things. I'm calling it a camellia because I don't know any better. I don't speak flower especially well. I'll do the big one because we haven't yet. Over here somewhere. Yep. Mm. Something. Leaves in between and then we'll finish it up with another one of these little fronds. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to call them besides fronds. I like, yeah, bifold. <laughs> Architectural things seem to work. Oh, Geordie, that's so lovely. Thank you so much. What a sweet comment. Oh my God. Thank you. Made my heart all fuzzy and warm. Hopefully now I don't make an absolute terrible job of this. We'll see how we go. Um, I have my water. I have a little bit of my colors left from last time. Oh wait, I haven't put pen down yet. What am I doing? I'm getting so ahead of myself. Okay, we're going to start with the five. Whew. Don't think, don't think, don't think. Just scribble. <laughs> Aaron's approach to life. Ooh. I've been using the five in place of the, the three is my preferred. But while my threes have been somewhat out of action, I've been using the 05 Pigma Micron. And it's fine. But it does feel a little bit like it's getting scratchy. I've still got plenty of nib to go. That's lucky. Although, I think I did just replace it. Yeah, there's another one in here. Hello, Mitsu! Do you want to come and say hi? You want dinner, don't you? Just as I finally started to put something useful on the page. Love that for us. Last night, I gave Mitsu... It was, it was Chinese New Year yesterday. So, we were like, let's celebrate. But in a cat way for Mitsu. And he has this favourite food. It's the... Fancy feast, cheddar delight. So he's rubbing against my legs under the table, which means the next step will be to escalate to biting my toes. Um, yeah, fancy feast, cheddar delights, but we call it cheese because we basic like that. We were like, we'll give Mitsu some cheese for dinner. And we gave him <laughs> the Mitsu, yes, as, as he is known for some, I don't know why I like to put the in front of his name, but I do. Hey buddy, he's just out of frame I think but he's he's here uh, we give him his food kind of in separate servings because if we don't he will eat it all like an absolute guts really quickly you're gonna block my la light now aren't you darling <laughs> hi oh dear um and my screen very good oh yeah Bianca the cheddar delights are just apparently fantastic I suppose um Thank you for that, sir. Very kind. <laughs> You're such an attention seeker. Your ear is basically touching the lens right now, did you know? He smiled at me like he was saying yes. So, I gave him some cheese. I gave him like a spoon at a time because if we give him more than that, he'll eat it too fast and vomit. And then we have to clean up cat vomit. Lady Cat Lord Kitty, your name is so appropriate for this moment. And then I left the room. When I came back, he was on the kitchen counter, which you're not allowed to do, are you? You're not allowed to do that. And he was pushing his cheese off the kitchen counter so it would fall out of the tin onto the floor where he could eat it. And I was like, you are very smart and also very bad. Okay, clearly. Hi, Selena. Clearly this little boy needs some food. I will be one sec. I'm so sorry. You're very insistent. Come on. Quick. Come on.
apologies to anyone who joined the live stream in the last 30 seconds to one minute where I was just feeding my cat. <laughs> Ooh, Elk Grove, California. We've got a few Californians in the chat today. It's up late for you guys in California and Oregon. <laughs> um, yeah, back to it. Okay, Mitsu doesn't care too much about cheese and even really milk. He's he's not that fussed, but this Cheddar Delights food is just crack, apparently. If you're a little black and white kitty cat. That's good. That made me think less about what I'm doing here, which always means that the results are probably going to come out a bit better. So much cat hair on my journal now. It is a permanent state of being. So tell me about your weekend. What's everyone up to? If your weekend is ongoing, if you have a whole Saturday still ahead of you. I mean Sunday. I know what day it is. And um, how was your weekend? If you are down under like me and it's basically done because it's almost 7pm on Sunday night. I had dinner with my family yesterday for Chinese New Year, well Chris's family, but my family, same, same. And we did a little bit of shopping, which was not planned. Not stationary shopping though, so not like the super fun kind. Um, and then today I had Morris dancing practice, which was really fun. I'm part of two Morris dancing sides now. One is Cotswold Morris and the other one is Northwest Morris and if you aren't sure what that means it's an English folk dancing tradition and it's fun but <laughs> English people like to make fun of it more than anything I think which is so fair. There's a lot less um, going to the pub and a lot more dance practice happening in Australian Morris I think. Groovy, that's a start. Next we'll do leaves. Just catching up on. Yeah, I think cats are lactose intolerant. I think Deb's right. Sleeping, reading, reading, journaling. Love that. Montana, hello baby girl. How are you feeling? <laughs> are you recovering okay? I've been thinking about you. I've got a few friends in the chat tonight. Oh, Jen, hello. Your son and his boyfriend washed that your two cats. That would have been a time. I love that. Can they come and wash my cat, please? We have cat wipes for Mitsu, but he doesn't like them. I was thinking that, Jacqueline, you don't have to take any time off work to hang out again tomorrow for our We Have a Members Live tomorrow. A catch up one. We're going to do some junk journaling. It's going to be great. Watching videos, sleeping, resting. Yes, I love that for our poor COVID afflicted ones. Oh, your dad had a chance encounter with Jack Black? That's amazing, Willow stuff. Oh my god. That's a good weekend, Courtney. I like the sound of that. Oh yeah, moving everything upstairs to get new carpets. That is a task, especially, especially the stationery. I've just done a bit of a declutter and I'm feeling good. Avoiding housework, yeah. Love that. Yeah, I don't think I could convince Mitsu to try any hard cheese, but those with cats who do enjoy some cheese, that's that's an idea. I think Mitsu would be like, mm, that's stinky, and I'd be like, have you smelled your food though? Because that is some stinky stuff. Okay, this is going to go over here. Feathery things. Look, they join! Ha <laughs> ha! So this is one of those situations where I'm like, these are flowers and flowers have leaves, but whether these kinds of flowers have actual leaves that look like this, I have no idea. These ones do. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> Might do some tiny connection flowers in here because there's too much space. <laughs> 
I guess that's the great thing about flowers and why I like doing them so much is because they're kind of foolproof. You can't really mess them up because no two flowers are going to look the same, so have at it. Just checking in on the chat. I can only see the very bottom of it because of how I have to keep my streaming window on the top. Oh, that sounds awesome, Gloria. Cooking night? That's Oh, and a hot tub. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't think he's had the, the cat biscuits. He has like a tin of... Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Chicken or something that's got... Cheddar Delights written on the packaging and it's got some little chunks of something that's vaguely yellow but it doesn't smell like cheese or anything, it just smells like cat food. But he loves it. He knows the sound of that tin as opposed to all of the other tins and if you need to get him to come out and he doesn't want to come out for you, you give him some cheese <laughs> and suddenly there's a cat and he'll, he'll do anything for his cheese. He does a little dance and everything. So I think something... Flower spray. Oh, I like it! It's cute. Okay, we'll give it some little details with the O1. I just drew on my thumb. 4 a.m. Sunday. Wow. Thanks for being here. What part of the world are you coming from if it's 4 a.m. for you right now? So this one's really fine, so I'm using it to make some little detail lines. I don't really have a system for this, except that the lines come from the middle of the flower and they should be different lengths because that's what Oscar from InPrint does and some from the top at the spots where there's already a little bend if I did that, which I didn't always. And that's my approach to those. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I go a bit too hard on the little extra detail lines though and then they start looking like the traditional rose tattoo that people used to get, probably still get. And then I'm like, ah, that wasn't what I was going for. Cute, I should probably do something with some of my leaves also as we go not all of them though just some <laughs> that flower's a little sad that's okay new jersey wow thank you for being here i hope you didn't stay up just for this and if you did that's amazing and thank you <laughs> But if not, I'm glad that we can keep you company. Cute. So just earlier, like an hour ago, I finished the book that I have been reading, All Our Shimmering Skies by Trent Dalton, which is an Australian author. He's from Brisbane, like me. I suppose I'm not technically from Brisbane, but I live in Brisbane. I'm from Brisbane now. Does that count? Let's go with, yeah. <laughs> um, and it was beautiful. This one wasn't set in Brisbane though, like Boyce Willow's universe. But it was lovely. Courtney, I know you've read some Trent Dalton. Have you read that one? Oh yeah, Flowers as Happy Accidents. Absolutely love. Absolutely love. One day I'm gonna sit down and watch me some Bob Ross and maybe even follow something. Follow a little tutorial, because I never have. Also, why I started from the bottom and I'm working my way up, I could not tell you. I do not have... <laughs> I do not have the reason. I just did. That's going to be interesting. Maybe if we put another bit of paper under there when we get to actually painting those. Ah, 
Um, but leading into me talking about um, books, <laughs> those of us who read the books, what you're reading? Those of us who do not read the books, what you're watching lately? Um, oh, Love Stories is beautiful. That was actually the first Trent Dalton book that I read, um, funnily enough. That was really, really gorgeous. And technically, I suppose, non-fiction. Um, Beck, I did really love the book of Boy Swallows Universe. I listened to the audiobook. It's possible that made a difference. Can't say for sure. I'm going to do another tiny flower down here because I just feel like it. Um, but the, yeah, the TV series is also phenomenal. And I know a few people who worked on it, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> And they all seem to have a really good time, so that's kind of great. Because, you know, they shot it around Brisbane, too. Apparently there are people doing drive-bys of the Bean Lee house that they used as a set. Hidden Love, is that... is that... Tell me more, man. Vampire Armand. I'm not familiar with that one. I did start reading Boy Swallows Universe on ebook and I like stopped, but it was at a time when I wasn't reading as much as I am now, so I probably would have finished it if I'd started it now, but at the time, you know, my head wasn't in the right place for it, I think. Um, and Actually, I think part of what made me move it up my list was that Courtney encouraged me to read it. So thanks for that, Courtney. <laughs> oh, Shima, that's so lovely. I'm starting it tomorrow. Now that I've finished um, All Our Shimmering Skies, I'm going to start on our Page Majors book tomorrow. I have it downloaded and ready to go and everything. I'm so excited. Um, for those who aren't hanging out in the Discord, our Page Majors book is... Ooh, that is very pink. That's okay. Uh, is what you are looking for is in the library by Michiko Aoyama. And I'm excited to start it. I have it on audio. That's what I've decided to do. That's where we've landed. Like Ben Folds. <laughs> so. Same as I did for these ones, I'm going to make this particular flower pink every time. I think I've only done two of it. And then the others will be purple and yellow. Um, I'll do the big ones purple. We'll do the smaller ones yellow. And then whatever's left over, we just alternate even the purple and yellow to try and make them like not have two of the same next to each other, if that makes sense. Oh, I had a feeling it was going to be a Chinese drama. It has a Chinese drama name, Montana. <laughs> and also it's you, so we know that. Just FYI for pals hanging out. Um, Montana is my wonderful friend who just had surgery last week. So we've got lots of recovering going on in the chat today. We all hang out and recover together. Some recovering from COVID, some recovering from surgery. Some, some of us just here for the moral support. <laughs> so, I'm clearly going in a little bit darker than I meant to. I've forgotten what the, the ratio of paint to water is that I want here. Okay, so my next question is, do we add text in this negative space? Do we make it like a quote, French door? <laughs> and if so, what the heck in heck do we do? Because I, that only just occurred to me and normally I'd go into something like this with an idea of what kind of quote I might want to put there, but I, I've got nothing. I 
I, I think when I first started out journaling, so just answering um, Gloria's question here, when I first started out journaling, I would track things like water. I, do, I didn't track mood because I didn't care. Um, I think I still had my hab habits on a separate page, but I did like track how much water I was drinking on each day of my weekly. And it was fine. I just didn't like how it looked. So, yeah, I guess I sort of have, but I feel like that's a lot more drawing out of things for each day. And I don't actually use my journal every day. So that's kind of why this seems to be working for me so well, I think, because I can set it up at one time and then just roll with it. <laughs> Hopefully this was the yellow I used because I'm reactivating it. It's probably off screen, but. Oh yeah, that looks that looks right. Bloom wherever the heck you planted. I really like that. I really like that. Hi Kelly. Oh, that's totally fair, Selena. Like you have to be in the headspace to read. I I get that. You lovely you, that's really sweet too. Hi Hilary! Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really lovely to see you, but yes, by all means, go back to bed when you can. <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you in like 12 hours for another stream, <laughs> so it's fine. That's a members live stream in case you guys are like, what is she talking about? We have a little members live stream tomorrow morning. Don't normally do back to back day live stream kind of things, but that's just how it worked out. And I'm kind of happy about it because now I can just leave all my stuff set up overnight and it'll be fine. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I'm really liking it. Yay. It's nice when a plan comes together. Let's do this one because it's purple at the end up there. So we'll alternate, kind of. And then... I feel like that guy could be yellow. This one. Cute. We'll do... We might do this one yellow as well. I don't know. That one just... It's telling me it wants to be yellow. <laughs> and then we'll do the rest purple. Yeah. That's a plan. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the fact that these are two of my, my Brisbane pals here, Willow Stuff and Montana bonding over music <laughs> in, the, in the chat. That's making me really happy. Um, I just picked these colors because I like them on. <laughs> that's literally my only reason here. Oh, Kelly, that's so nice. Thank you. I don't know, Becky. I don't know how to answer that. I think I'm just an auditory kind of person anyway. Like I studied music at university many, 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 many moons ago. So I guess separating sounds is part of that. Like it's just, kind of, I don't know. It, does, it, it doesn't seem to be an issue for me. Um, that said, I've lived my entire life with music on in the background up to this point. So maybe that has something to do with it. Not sure. <laughs> 
Just mixing up some green at the moment. Um, I always think of when I do this color scheme specifically, because I bring it back pretty often. Um, usually it's the beginning of a, a new journal, but this time, you know, the start of this journal was purple and, oh, I was going to do purple, wasn't I? No, we're doing green now. Um, purple and, and green, but like rich jewel tones because it's the storybook one. So there's too much water there. That's better. Um, part of it is I had this skirt <laughs> when I was like 19 up until, I think I still had it when I was living with, at the Cheese Brain Palace, if Montana will know what that means. Um, so like a decade ago and it was these colors and it was like my favorite thing and I never wore it because I was not a long skirt kind of a girl then. I would wear it now, but I just, I really thought the fabric was the prettiest thing in the world and it was basically these colors. So whenever I do something in these colors, I'm like, I gotta make it look like that skirt I used to have. Just giving myself some green variety here. That's way deeper than I used over there, but I also don't know if I care <laughs> Especially, like there's a lot more blue in it, but it's pretty, so we're gonna go with it. It's fine. Um, nothing wrong with only three spreads long for your February setup. That's totally fair. Uh, yeah, uh, practice maybe. As far as freelance and working for yourself, um, practice is probably a big part of it. To be honest, I don't really know anything else. Like I worked in the supermarket deli and at the supermarket checkouts when I was through high school and, and uni, but my entire adult life I've been freelancing. So I guess I'm just used to it. Um, I also think that I function better without a schedule maybe that's part of it like I kind of thrive on novelty and chaos <laughs> so that could be part of it for sure um and I have systems that really help like I, I use a CRM for business stuff that like automatically emails my clients for me which is great I try to do things pretty far in advance wherever I can so that I can be organized like I'm setting up March tomorrow and that's late for me um <laughs> if that makes sense But yeah, there are definitely people who thrive more on routine. I don't have a routine, so I feel like I'm not the best candidate for answering that question somehow. Like I, unless I have somewhere to be, I wake up whenever I wake up. And then quite often, I mean, there are things that people will tell you are unhealthy about freelancer lifestyles, but Sometimes I will literally wake up, I'll make a cup of tea and I'll go straight to work in my pajamas and people will be like, that's bad, but it works for me, so <laughs> who cares? I don't feel like it's harming me, but maybe it would feel that way to other people, so I don't know. Oh, Montana has told me a couple of times in person, she's like, I love watching you tear things because I can't tear things, and I'm like, I will come to your house and tear things for you, honey, if, if you'd like that. <laughs> if they're pre-torn, does that help? Does that let you like have the brain space to use them? Because that would be kind of cool. Like if they came that way. I've got a folk playlist on today, which is quite different to, I usually go for like a lo-fi beats thing. And I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but I'm really enjoying it. It's very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of water and just a tiny bit of green and do something with these cuties. And 
And then go back in with a kind of mostly clean brush and blur out the edge. A bit wider than the other one, but that's fine. Should be right. Yes, Becky working from home is so good. <laughs> I um, have missed out on so much of chat because I was like concentrating. Hang on, I'm scrolling up. Oh, that's really lovely, Hillary, that you think I'm great for beginners because that's what I'm going for. I'm like, hey, let's all mess up together. It's going to be great. Um, what's the formula for median? Are you, are you doing um, core pile things? Is that... Is that why you're asking? Because that seems... I'm trying to think of when I would have talked about finding a median of things. Um, you just work out... So say the numbers are like for really easy ones. If it's like 5 and 10. And you're trying to find the middle of that. I think you would just be like, well, there's 5 in between them. And half of 5 is 2.5. So two and a half above five is the median. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's like the middle. God, I was not good at math, so I don't know if I should be answering this. <laughs> um, if we're talking about core pile things. If we're talking about core pile things, I can just bust out my journal and show you what I did on my core pile page, if you would like. But if it's not that, then I won't do that, <laughs> I guess. Um, we need some more green, don't we? A watery green. Oh, maybe too watery. That's okay. That can be the edges. <laughs> I dig it. Can you dig it? Yes, you can. Can anyone get my Robbie Williams reference? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of orange, not a lot, just a tiny little bit of orange into my yellow to do these centers and then we'll add something quotey. <clears throat> Good to see you too, Beck. Thanks for joining us. Um, so, quotey things. I do, I really like the idea of the grow where you're planted. Do we do, see now this is tricky because it's like left and right. You read that way, but also you read that way. So, do I do grow where you're planted or do I do grow where you plant it. So like left page first on the bottom left or right page first on the top right. I don't know. My live stream community is the best. I completely agree Willow stuff. Oh no, sorry. I meant to turn, I did it again. Okay. Um, YouTube did this to me last time where I think it was defaulting to having ads switched on. And I will hopefully be able to turn it off. I don't want mid-roll ads. Thanks, YouTube. Okay, it'll let me set it to a lower frequency. Sorry, I, I really meant to check that. Um before I went live because it did it to us last time and I don't want it playing ads in live. Hopefully you won't get any more. Top to bottom. That seems to be the... Yeah, I agree. So like, grow where you're planted. 
Groovy. I'm glad we're in agreement. Let's bust out some stamps and then once that's like proper dry, I'll go back in and add a little bit of detaily goodness. Let me just a little bit of colour variation, you know, that'll be fun. Um I got this out earlier. It's the N79, in case anyone's wondering which Tombow I'm using for all of my lettering. But has she cleaned her stamps? Who knows? <laughs> I think I have actually. They look pretty good. And I think I'm gonna do grow all in caps because I'm just vibing it. I don't know. Grow! Where you were planted. Grow. Grow. That one needed a clean, clearly, because that one's come out just about black, and this is supposed to be a warm grey pen. That is a lowercase w, right? Very good, very good. It's a great quote, Shima. I like that we'll match a little bit. Um, pretty much that, Becky, I think. Um, baby wipes are convenient, hey? <laughs> um, I've seen a few people say they use isopropyl alcohol. I've seen some other people say that you shouldn't do that because it'll dry out a rubber stamp but it's okay on silicon and I'm like I don't know man. Sometimes I just like wet some paper towel <laughs> and rub it over them and because I'm mostly using water-based pens with my stamps that seems to be adequate. Don't know. Baby wipes do seem to do the trick though, so as far as I'm concerned, they are a good option. I'm being very imprecise today, I'm not like planning out where these are gonna go at all. Just organic. That's the vibe today. And we still have a fair bit to do, so this is gonna be a pretty long stream. Oh, gardening advice on your Insta Instagram today. That is an area of social media that I have not had served to me. It seems to understand that there's no point. She likes flowers in her journal. She will sometimes buy flowers for her house. She is bad at growing them. <laughs> Do we do planted in caps? I think we do. Planted! Grow! Where you are planted! <laughs> That's it. Somebody make a metal song with this as the chorus. It's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to put a full stop because that just feels good. Grower, you were planted. 
full stop. That's a bracket that can go back in. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. Okay, let's make it extra. So, I am, let me turn this so that you can maybe actually see some of my palette. Adding some extra purple to make this a little touch deeper. And then just gonna, oh, cat hair. Oh. <laughs> Add a touch, I don't know, wherever it feels good. And then we'll go back in with some water to blend it soon. I feel like this watercolor paper is actually pretty amazing. So I don't know if you guys saw, on, I was posting some stuff on Instagram stories today with my teapots that I'm like obsessing over, <laughs> trying to get them to be really good. Just cause, I don't know, I want them to be cute. But if they mess up, like I'm still gonna share the video. It's all fine. Um, And I was like, oh, I used way too much water. Oh, just like I did just then. Ah. on my first teapot in the test in this actual journal because everything else I've been doing has been in a sketchbook and it has nice thick paper it can take it but this one is watercolor paper but it's still 160 gsm so it's not ultra thick for watercolor paper which is good because you know the journal would have to have less pages if they made them thicker but I was like, I think I, I may have spoken too soon because when they dried out, they both dried pretty flat. So <laughs> that's impressive. It's pretty good. Well done, Mellow Days. Watercolor is a wily temptress. A new song for Chris's band. Yeah, that sounds re actually really fun. Um, his metal bands that he used to play in have just recently put a song on Spotify which is kind of crazy because they like used to play together in like 2010 and I've been listening to it so much especially while he was away on tour a couple weeks ago I was like I'm just gonna listen to Chris's band because I am weak no nah. Which is funny because he was on tour with a country band, so like couldn't be more different. Ooh. Didn't do a very good job on that one, that's okay. Cute, let's do some yellow. Oh yeah, Chris is, Chris is doing a great job keeping up with the socials. For those of you who don't follow my partner, he's made it his mission to start his own ventures into content creation this year. He started a YouTube channel. He's been posting to Instagram every day, a reel every day, which I'm like, wow, could never be me. <laughs> yeah, he's doing great. He comes home and he's like, oh, I have to make a reel. And I'm like, you don't have to. No one's holding a gun to your head. And he's like, I must. Discipline. That's a bit more subtle than it needed to be, but that's fine. Not even gonna blend that one. I think it's fine. Cute. All right. I think I'm gonna leave it at that for this this little situation. Oh, 
Your whole Tombow leaked in your pencil case, Selena. I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's heartbreaking. Um, Willow Stuff just want you to know, based on that comment about the formula, you're smarter than me. Because that looks like hieroglyphics. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Chinese Yu Yu was really nice. We had dinner with my partner's family. They gave me a red packet. <laughs> Chris and I have been together for a really long time, but we have never gotten around to getting married. So <laughs> his parents still have to give us red packets and we don't have to give them to people, which is kind of fun. <laughs> oh, I didn't do the pink ones. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? The pink ones are my favourites, so we can't ignore them. That's better. Okay, so we'll just give that a sec to dry. Just give it a minute. Good night, Montana. Go enjoy your bedtime story. I can give you a puppy dog a pat from me. Yeah, we're looking all right. We're looking pretty good. Okay, it's just that little bit of pink. Everything else is just about dry. Which gives me an opportunity to be pedantic if I want to be. And just bring some of these lines back. Do I want to be pedantic? No, I don't. <laughs> this is great. This is coming along really well. I love it. It's very cute. Does anyone have any fun things coming up in the next week? Or the rest of the month, for that matter. Let me know like what your, what your plans are for the next little while. I've been um, playing around with hair and makeup for a ball that I'm going to soon. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's damp, but it's not wet. Which makes me think... If I'm sneaky... <laughs> Let me just expand my paper towel here. Do a little bit of this. And over here, uh, let's do it like this. We can move on to this weekly, and we'll put some more pretty over there soon. You're getting your face lasered, Courtney. I'm so jealous. Wait, tell me everything. What kind of laser? I have done some research. I am familiar with different types of laser and I want to know everything. We can talk about this in private if you would prefer. <laughs> oh, Kelly, that's amazing. Launching your first digital product on when uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's ph phenomenal. Congratulations. Attempting to convince your dad to let you go to the Cave Town concert. I don't know what that is, but I hope he lets you go. Oh, that's so cool, B. Going to a castle in Sweden, that's amazing. Sleeping and resting. Yeah, see, Marie, you have to get recovered in time for sticker hangs. Which I don't have stickers. Don't have stickers? Don't have tickets for. <laughs> I don't have tickets for sticker hangs this time, but... I mean, will you be back in Brisbane by then? I'm not even sure. Um, what do I plan to do for Valentine's Day? Chris and I have never really been Valentine's Day people. Um, we don't do a great deal for it, to be honest. And also, I feel like you hit a point, you've been with your partner for a really long time, where it's just like, do you want anything for Valentine's Day? Nah. Do you? Nah. And that's kind of the end of it. So I am working. I have a shoot that day. 
one of my commercial clients and I believe it's a Wednesday so I will have dance practice that night <laughs> um, and that's about the extent of it what do I do purple yellow green and pink okay so we'll do a purple down here because I don't want two of the same I just wanted to put some color behind my stampy letters because it might be fun <laughs> cute Oh, I saw the tour posters for Tenacious D. I want to go too. <laughs> I think this is actually a metallic pink, but it's fine. I'm going to go with it anyway. It's in July sometime, right? Tenacious D. The Brisbane show is anyway. Oh, this is already going to be so much more fun. Mitsu does deserve a Valentine's treat. I will give him some cheese on that day and we will see if he is a good boy or not. Place your bets. Those colors are so nice together. We just need a little bit of green. I kind of want it a touch lighter than that, but will we just do that with water? Rather than... Yeah. I'm trying to somewhat avoid my pencil lines that I have had down here for a while, because I'd like to be able to erase them. <laughs> if you watercolor over them, they get hard to remove. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so there was definitely some of my pearly ones mixed in here because I've been playing with those for my teacups, but that's okay. It's not a problem. Um, we'll let that dry for a minute and we'll work out the beginnings of this side. Oh, I love that Deb buying chocolate and eating it yourself. Take back Valentine's Day. I think that's a glorious idea. Um, so this one's actually going to be folded this way so it doesn't have to match with what's over there we could do a little s shape maybe 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 you know what yes selena valentine's day kind of is every day for us that's really sweet jen i really like that Just catching up on comments. Someone in your complex is playing Crazy Frog. I hope they only play it once. My gosh. That is an ordeal. Okay, I think I might just go straight in with the pen this time. I don't think I need to pencil pencil my flowers this time because I'm a bit more warmed up than I was earlier. So, we'll probably be fine. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple more big ones this time, I think. Some little ones in between. I wonder where the Mitsu is. He got what he wanted and then he abandoned me. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay, we're just gonna start from the middle of the page and work our way out and see where we end up. Whoops, bashed my What's that called? Paintbrush? <laughs> Words. Words hot. Cute. Very small though. <laughs> Let's do a bigger one. Oh, she's getting lazy and it shows. My flowers are starting to suck. That's fine. They can. They're allowed. Well, 
Once we add details, they'll <laughs> bounce back a little. No chocolate discounts after Valentine's Day, but then all of the Easter stuff is out as well, so... I mean, I suppose they have specific discounts for the Easter chocolate versus the Valentine's Day chocolate, but... I remember actually, I spent Valentine's Day in Japan once with a friend, and um, we were seeing all... Because, you know, they do Valentine's Day really big, because East Asia also has, like... So Valentine's Day, I think the guy in a heteronormative relationship is supposed to be the one who gives the chocolate and then on white day the girl gives the chocolate is that correct it could be the other way around i can't remember and they have a black day for like people who didn't get valentine's <laughs> get to go and eat black bean noodles <laughs> and commiserate and i'm like that's so interesting but we were in japan over valentine's day and we were seeing all of their chocolates and we were like, tomorrow, tomorrow we chocolate shop. That looks bad. Oh well. Um, <laughs> and then all of the chocolate just disappeared. They actually didn't like discount it all and sell it. They just, you know, put it away. <laughs> Cause I suppose white day was not that far off maybe. Okay, I need to make these sketchier cause that's what makes them cute. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And we should do a little bit of a, maybe just a little one. Consistency, repetition. We'll do, I feel like that makes the most sense coming out of a somewhat large flower. So we'll do another one. Just take my time a little bit on that one because the last one was bad. Look, she'll do. <laughs> yep, sounds about right, Jen. We'll do a little frond friend, frond friend. We might even let him be the end of that one. It meanders and I like it. Details. And the details sometimes make all the difference. And you're like, this isn't working. And then you add some extra tiny little lines and you're like, actually, maybe it's fine. You don't have any little wrinkly spots for me to put them on though, do you? Little flower that I drew. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is why when I do my own bullet journal setups, I quite often take a couple of days to do it because I get impatient and then things start to suck.
yeah, we're doing okay. I don't think I blinked in a while. I just blinked and my eyes went, ah, thank you. It's funny, isn't it, when you get really absorbed? Getting in the zone. Every time I say the phrase in the zone, I immediately revert back to 1998 <laughs> and there was a wonderful Irish four-piece girl group called Bewitched. You guys remember Bewitched? And I get one of their songs in my head from their first album which was fantastic. I believe it was self-titled. This story has no point. Besides, how good were 90s girl groups? <laughs> what a time. Okay. So my thinking is... That's probably dry enough to not need... Yeah. To not need the extra layer. I'm going to clip this guy down here. We'll paint this. And then we'll do our letters over here. I might get rid of these pencil lines first because I'm worried about running off the rails and ruining something over here while it's still wet. Um, the song was called Freak Out. <laughs> and if you would like to look it up, you're welcome to. If you'd rather not have it in your head for a week, that's fine, I understand. But it was very, very fun. Okay. Unless you already know it, in which case I'm sorry, it's in your head now, you can't help it. <laughs> yes, Courtney, they were so good. I loved Bewitched too. They were wonderful. Okay, we're starting with yellow this time because it's still wet on my palette, so why the heck not? Oh, that one didn't get any details. That's fine. He's a smooth flower, this friend. He's had some laser treatments. <laughs> Hopefully this flower will refer me to his dermatologist. Cute. Childhood coming rushing back. I swear I put that CD on like at least once a year and just like revel in it a little bit because man, it was great. Okay, that big guy is going to be purple, so I'm going to do this one yellow. You'll be purple, you'll be pink, you'll be purple, you'll be pink, pink, purple. Cool, we're good. Yellow's done his job. <laughs> I'm nearly going for this one, but that's definitely the pearly shiny purple, which is actually not what I want right now. I'll make some more. Needs a touch of pink in that purple. It's a little bit too cool. Um, oh, I made it kind of muddy, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to go with it. <laughs> Are we though? Maybe we're not. <laughs> hmm. 
Maybe we aren't going to go with it. Maybe we're going to... What purple? Don't know what you mean. No idea. Yeah, there's something about that, um, Blame It On The Weatherman song. Just so beautiful. So fun to, like, scream sing in your car. <laughs> Such a good one. Love it. Okay. Yeah, we're doing better. That's more like it. I recommend it, Courtney. It's like required listening. I'll pop a link to the album in the Discord later, probably. Um, yeah, there's just something about that song. I would put it on now, but um, copyright, you know. Maybe I'll add it to our members' stream playlist and we can have a little sing along tomorrow. It's just one more day. No one said there would be rain again. Won't blame it on myself. Yeah, I'll blame it on the weatherman. That's about probably all I can do <laughs> without getting like, hey, you're covering this person's song. It was great. It was so good. Hi, Mella. Wait. Yep, I read your name right. Okay, good. Okay, this one's nearly done. We'll add some pink and some green. And then we'll do letters and hopefully while we do the letters, this will dry. For the weekly over here. Oh wait, we've got one more purple to do. One more purple. I don't even know what that is, Willow stuff. I'm sure I was taught at some point, but my high school days were a while ago and I do not remember things. Also, you're 11 and 12. I did like the basic maths. I didn't do the fancy stuff. So I reiterate, you're smarter than me. <laughs> I was like, why did I just pick up some more yellow? It's okay. I did it for a reason. I promise. I just forgot what it was for a second. It was for the centers of these ones. interquartile range it sounds like it should be from a sci-fi movie do we need to mix some more pink I think we do
Now, if it's English homework at any point that you need a hand with, Willow stuff, I will be way more helpful in that instance. Pink. Try and make it a little touch lighter. It's funny how the colour makes my crappy flowers look a lot better. <laughs> We're doing all right. Let's do some green. Oh, Kelly, welcome to Page Mages. Thank you for joining us. How exciting. You still have um, a solid half the month to have a little read of our book club book if you would like to. Um, I actually have to, if you, if you jump straight into the Discord, just so you know, Kelly, um, there is a separate section of the Discord that's for the Page Mages book club but it, you won't be able to see it until I set you up with the page roll. So I will do that the moment we finish live stream. <laughs> hope, actually, if, um, if YouTube has its act together, it will let you see it anyway, but it quite often doesn't. Actually, it's not YouTube's fault entirely. If YouTube and Discord are communicating to each other. <laughs> oh, I'm learning things about maths today. This is amazing. Maybe, maybe it would, Sarah Beth. That's a good question. What is, is there more to that quote? <laughs> what would it be? What would I, would I add there? Grow where you're planted. Mm. <laughs> My head was like, grow, baby, grow. <laughs> oh, so you mean like, um, grow where you're planted, grow where something, something different. I mean, I guess grow where you are is the sentiment, right? Oh, 
Let's see what, what else the internet has to, to share. That's cute. I like it. I'm actually thinking, because these purples came out a little on the darker side. Maybe I'll attempt to highlight them rather than the other way around. Get like a really light little... No, that's not going to work. <laughs> it's worth a try. By today, Marie, you mean to finish the quote with? Grow your plants and grow today. Alright. Oh, I missed some greens. Whoops. Good job, me. Okay. Oh, I nearly dropped my paintbrush. Um, did I use all that pink I just made? <laughs> Did I make it over here? No, we're good, we're good. That one's already pretty saturated. Cute. Oh, that's true. Hello Mitsu, I was wondering where you were. Wow, are we like super overexposed because of the sunset? Um, yellow, yellow. <laughs> yellow, <laughs> the bush kangaroo, apparently. Seems to be what I was singing. <laughs> Oh yes, you're my smooth flower. Cute, okay. these bigger leaves a little bit of variety and that one because same color as its friend all right it's lovely seeing you willow stuff well done on your maths homework i hope you enjoy your dinner thanks for hanging out Just rolled my shoulders back and my sternum cracked. This is 36. Okay. 
lettering time. We're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday notes. And then I will check the previous spread to work out what dates I'm missing. Otherwise, because if I do that now, I'll forget again by the time we get there. Monday. That's tomorrow. That will be actually tomorrow, like the 12th. Cool. Which is why we're doing this stream now. Because <laughs> I need some weeklies. Tuesday will also do the tea at the same time while I have it out for Thursday. Tuesday has one of those. Thursday would go a space and then here. Friday, Saturday, Sunday has one in the middle. SU. E there. E there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday notes will have one at the end, but I need the rest of the word for context for that one first. So something I've been thinking about a lot lately is um of probably probably good timing if Willow stuff has disappeared off, because Willow stuff is in high school. Um, it's like what we studied at uni and like are we still using it? <laughs> I'm really curious because I think I know more people who studied and then didn't use their degree than people who studied and are continuing to do what they studied now. I'm curious. So like or people who like didn't study and are you know they, they finished school and they went straight into work and are like absolutely killing it. So. I'm curious. What's what's it what's your situation? Let me know. Oh, this is way cuter with the colors behind the headings. I love it. We're gonna bring that into the next one as well. Nothing wrong with that, Kelly. Nothing at all. I think my partner has half or most of three degrees and then finished his first degree fully the year before last, 2022. Did I not make my areas wide enough? Potentially. Potentially. Where's my kitty cat? Oh, he's in my doorway. I also think it's really cool when people are studying like just when it suits them at whatever time in your life you are at and you're like I'm gonna study now I think that's very very cool had babies right after high school hence being a uni student now I love that Jen different paths will get us to where we need to go Oh, good morning, Antonella. <laughs> I hope you had a nice little like Sunday morning sleep in because that's great. That's how it should be. 
We're doing a little bit of lettering, a little bit of watercolor. What did I say? 12th Monday. 12 will be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. These can all have a one. One's for everybody. Oh, so much conversation. I want to read it all. Let me do my ones and then I'll read <laughs> all of the chat. I love that, Valerie. Opening your own business is so empowering. Oh, that's awesome, Kelly. I love that so much. Put all your studies to good use. That's awesome. Oh, wow, Marie, that's really cool. I didn't know that about you. That's very cool. That's incredible. That's that's really, really cool. Jacqueline, you're such a boss. I love it. Like medical imaging, amazing. I really like that, Courtney. Like choosing something different in your 30s. I love it. Yeah, this week does bring us to the middle of the month. Can you believe? Hi, Mitsu. What are you doing? What are you playing with? What have you got? And are you allowed to play with it? That's the main question. 12 is correct. See, look how much more fun this spread is than the previous one. It's got so much more color. Boring. Not boring. <laughs> you feel like the novelty of having different things every week is really good for my brain. <laughs> Seems to like that. What are you doing, Mitz? Okay, you leaving? Okay, bye. Come back whenever. and then that should be this weekly just about done I will make sure to make these little patches a bit longer on the next one because they are a touch too short that's okay Still got some, <laughs> I always mark like where I'm gonna fold or cut the page and I've still got some pencil line there. We could always retroactively add some color to this, I guess. That's so pretty, I like it a lot. All right, dry, 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 very good. I mean, I feel like we probably don't need to add text over here because it'll sit like this and then this one will actually be folded this way. So maybe it's fine. I think it's okay. Oh, it's really coming together, isn't it? Wow. Hmm. Weekly and spending. Weekly is cute. And we'll do another one here. All right. Yeah, Sarah Beth, I think you're right. I think I should. Good night, Deb. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it so much. Might see you in the morning. M my morning, your night. <laughs> um, <laughs> if 
funny, isn't it? Oh, Jen, that would be incredible working in end of life care, like really important, really hard work. Um, huge, huge, huge respect for anyone who works in end of life care, because that's amazing. Hi, Lenore. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm so glad you're here too. Um, we are just, I'll just catch you up quickly on what we've done. So we decorated these little flap things. There's a weekly under there and some spending logs that I have yet to fill in. And then we've just done this weekly and this cuteness. And now we're moving over to, we're going to do some more weekly stuff here and some more pretty flowers down here. We're doing a long live today. <laughs> a hefty one. Um, I feel like I need to put something under. What have I got? Usually just ends up being this eraser for everyone that's not in Australia. We call it a rubber here, um, <laughs> which I believe means something else to some of you. Oh, give it a go, Sarah Beth. So I somewhat stole it from Elizabeth from Plant Based Bride. Although she does hers as a an Alistair method, like rolling weekly, I think. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I like the idea of the foldy folds. I'm not sure how sold I am on them, to be totally honest with you. I don't know if I'd do them again. Like, I don't think I'm going to do them again for March. But it's been really fun to try something different. I see you, kitty cat. I see you. What are you doing? What you up to over there? He's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Mum's going crazy. <laughs> then when this is folded, how much page will you actually see? We can go out to here. Okay, Groovy. I must have known that somehow. Oh, you're setting up your week as well. I love that so much, Lenore. That's awesome. Thanks, Kelly. I'm really happy with it too. Thanks, Sarah Beth. Um, I'm reading comments out of order, clearly. So, no, we don't need that like that. We need it like this. <laughs> Hi. Oh, all right. What are you after this time, buddy? No, don't walk in the paint, honey boy. No, I think it's all dry at least. Yeah, thank you. Can I see your feet, please? Show me this one. Okay, no, you're good. We got away with it. Can I see your other foot? He said, no, you can't. You absolutely cannot. Can you just give me a minute, Mitz, please? Would that be all right with you? <laughs> yeah, the lump is what's been bothering me for sure, Marie. Like, there's a little bit of it there. Um, let me quickly flick my camera to AFC so you can see. But that, that, mm, bit annoying, isn't it, Mitz? It's a little bit frustrating. Let's go back to manual focus there we go okay one two three four five six i should do seven boxes wide okay seven we're gonna do seven mitsu you're like i don't know i'm a cat i don't know what you're doing Let's do a purple here this time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so it's basically half, halfway. Yeah, that's fair, Jen. You know, sometimes it's like a little bit, why am I doing blue? There is no blue in this setup. I just started reactivating a blue on my palette. Um, sometimes, I'm like, it would be cool to go back to daily logging, which is what I did way when I first started, way, way back. Doesn't really, <laughs> sometimes filming your stuff kind of restricts you a little bit, because I'm like, how do I do that in a video without it being boring, you know? <laughs> it's not the sort of thing you can set up in advance, so it doesn't um, translate well to screen, you know?
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Much more better. That one's a little dull. Brighten her up. Mitsu, you're being very patient, darling. Thank you. Um, what are my other colors? Green. I've still got some of that. That's good. Oh, you're leaving again, Mitsu. Wow, he's just being really accommodating today. How unusual. I have also been toying with the idea. A few of you guys know this already. Toying with the idea a little bit of trying to Hobonichi. <laughs> Which I realise there are a few different kinds of Hobonichi. Don't know. Haven't haven't done anything about it, so. <laughs> if it does happen, it won't be for a while. What colour are you? That is not the colour I meant to activate at all. Oh, I haven't watched that one of Jess's yet, the task prioritization. Damn, that girl is prolific. Her content is so good. I'm like, how you do this? How you stay on top of this? See, she seems to be someone that routines and stuff do work really well for. Sometimes I look at Jess's systems and I'm like, that's amazing. I could never. <laughs> darker than the other one but that's all right layers <laughs> cool 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 now we just need some pink oh speaking of pink I feel like I've been seeing in in the internet like I don't know I follow some channels where people do like accent differences and stuff across many English language varietals and there have been a lot of videos lately about the regional differences in Australian accents. Marie you're in Melbourne <laughs> although you haven't been able to go out because you've been down with the Rona. Um, while you have been out and like you have family there yeah have you noticed differences in pronunciation? Oh yeah, for fountain pens. That's a great idea, Valerie. Because they're, they're like a, an 80 GSM page, I think. Is that correct? I could be making that up. I don't know. I've done zero research. Um, so Kitty's stepping in the paint tin. Yeah. I'm glad it was dry. His timing was actually pretty good, considering. He's not normally quite that good. <laughs> um, yeah, something a lot of people have been saying is like the... The Victorian pronunciation, particularly in Melbourne, of Melbourne being Melbourne. And I said pank, and that's what made me think of it. Oh, Courtney, yeah, you're in Melbourne, of course. Like, and you're from Brisbane, so you would notice this stuff too. Ugh. Nearly choked on my Pepsi. How dare you betray me like this, Pepsi? All right. So question, because we have corner florals and corner florals, do we carry it over here? I was thinking about making this something functional, but I can't think of anything functional to do with it. So I think we might just make it pretty. Do we do corner corner or do we do something more block because of the goal section, which I haven't used? Oh, Jen, so is it like 
castle and mall rather than castle and mall. Is that kind of what you're thinking? Oh, interesting. Because I, I get the British thing sometimes, but... Hmm. Something in the middle that's a bit bigger, Kelly, you reckon? I think we could do that. Like, to balance it. Like a chunk. A flower chunk. Because <laughs> that's what they're called. Yeah. Chunk. Florists everywhere, cringing. Okay. I think we could do that. Alright, I'm going in. You're gonna, I'm going to just move this over here so that it's not like just all my shadow all of the time. Alright. I'm holding my pen to tightly. That is a thing that I do and always have done and why I have this big bump on my finger. I want to do, I guess make this too small. I want to do a big boy version of my pink flower. <laughs> oh yeah, that actually sort of came out okay. Oh yeah, working in threes, that makes sense. Boop, boop, boop. And also this will have text in it once it's used, so it makes sense this will be quite busy, so it'd be nice to have some space. Oops. Should be right. There we go. We'll do another little five petal friend. And then we'll put our little frond. He's a smooth one again. <laughs> Forgot to make his petals bumpy. Her petals? I don't know. Go feed your kitty cats, Courtney. Doing the good work there. A, and then we'll do a little frond moment, frond friend. To match with this one. Add some leafies. Connect things up a little bit. Right on. Detail pen. That one's my detail pen. That's the 08. That's much bigger. <laughs> yeah, we do do some weird stuff with certain diphthongs. You're not wrong. I have really enjoyed the internet being like, trying to emulate the no. And then I have spent far too much time 
saying it and concentrating on what my tongue does when I say it. It's kind of ridiculous. It's one of those things that we always said but nobody noticed until what was it, H2O Just Add Water was released internationally on Netflix or whatever the catalyst of that weirdness was. Like, what a skill to have and then not even know that we had it most of our lives until other people point it out. I hear little cat feet. I hear them. What's he doing? Oh, he's just lying in the doorway again. He's being very patient, actually. He's a wonderful boy, my Mitsu. He was once a street cat. And I think sometimes he remembers that he used to be a street cat. And then he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Some little details. All right, we're nearly up to painting. Almost there. Smooth friend. Oh, that was the wrong direction. Oh well. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do another tiny little one in here to link these two. Okay, and I don't mind that little gap over here for some reason, so I'm gonna let him live. <laughs> oh, I love when people do those, uh, like, recreating things, but if it was made in Australia, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, paint, paint, paint. My wrist just cracked. I'm trying to think if I've ever actually seen High School Musical. I must have, right? At some point. not coming to me. I mean, I know who's in it and I think I know some of the songs, but I'm like, surely that means I've seen it, <laughs> right? Which brings me to another question. Favorite like hi, uh, childhood and teenage movies? That could be a fun one. And like, do you still like them? Or have you watched one that you loved when you were younger and you were like, what did I just watch? Why did I like this? Because I've definitely done that with a few myself. Oh, the same dude that recreates Twilight scenes. That makes sense. South Australians have the, I have some family in South Australia and I think they sound so nice and pretty when they speak. So that's, that's how you sound in my head, Jen. <laughs> purple, 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 purple. We'll go yellow, purple, yellow, I think. Just to 
keep those colors balanced. Yellow, yellow. Cool. So I didn't need to reload my brush. Oh, get over it. I don't know if I've seen that one. Oh, Hocus Pocus Antonella. Absolutely. Rocky. I've never seen Rocky Horror. My friend Sophie has been like, this is a travesty that we must correct for years and we still haven't done it. And I don't know why, because I think I would love it. It looks like fun. Oh, Matilda's such a beautiful movie, Kelly, I agree. Oh, The Princess Bride. I actually didn't see The Princess Bride until I was an adult. For some reason, God knows why. Um, but I, I love it too, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And um, when I was reading a book last year called The what is it? The very secret oh, lady scoundrels. That one. Um, India Holton wrote it. Anyway, it's about lady pirates and there's a character in there and I was like, he's the princess bride guy. That's exactly what he looks like in my head. It's great. Very clear inspiration. Oh, 52 GSM. Oh, thanks for that, Valerie. That's great. That's really helpful to know. Not thrilled with the new Hocus Pocus. I thought it was okay. I agree. It doesn't ha totally have the charm of the old one, but I thought it was fun. Fun enough. I, I mean, I rewatched Hocus Pocus last year, but I did not rewatch the new one. So, I guess that says everything, doesn't it? Going in with my green first this time. And then we'll do yellow, because I need to make some more. Trying to think what I grew up with. Obviously all the animated movies of the time. The first movie I can remember seeing in the theatre was Aladdin. But apparently the first movie I actually saw in the theatre was Milo and Otis, which probably doesn't hold up so well. Don't think they had the same like animal cruelty laws in those times. Um, oh, Hook. I loved Hook. You have to dress up to rock watch Rocky Horror. I was a roller derby girl once upon a time, so I will very happily get my fish fishnets out. I'll do it for you, Tim Curry. I mean, the man was hot as Hexus in Fern Gully, so... <laughs> You can definitely be... See, I feel like I know things about Rocky Horror. But I haven't totally pieced it all together. This seems to be my thing. I went to see Rent last weekend with some friends, like at the theatre, and that was great. But I, I'd never seen it and I didn't know the story. So everyone was like, take some tissues. And I was like, why? And they were right. They were absolutely correct. Oh, I'm so happy with how this is looking. Works out well sometimes. And we'll do another green with a little bit more blue in it. For the rest of the leaves. Looking cute, looking cute. 
Yeah, Fern Gully is based where I went to uni. <laughs> Pretty much. The woman who wrote it lives in Federal, which is a town I used to drive through on my way to uni when I went to uni in Lismore. Oh, Fern Gully's so good. Some of the music, it's raining like magic, the forest is singing. It's so good. Oh, Courtney Cool Runnings, yes! Oh, and Pollyanna. Pollyanna was so beautiful. That's a really good one, actually. How do I pronounce your name, Sjolfen? Please help me. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show was banned in South Africa, so people crowded the streets to watch at old drive-ins. That's incredible. Please tell your parents that I love their story, Valerie. The live action version of Rocky Horror. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Oh, Brother Bear, that's a beautiful movie. Oh, that's so cool, Greg Quinton. That's really cool, Jen, I like that. Oh, my name is Betty. My logic is erratic. <laughs> oh, the part from Fern Gully that we quote the most is like the um, price check on prune juice bar. <laughs> price check on prune juice. Oh, so good. So, so good. What a treasure. Robin Williams. Honestly, anything that he was in, it was, it was definitely on high rotation in my house. Because my mum loved him too. That's very green. Calm down, green. Calm down. Isn't it funny on some pages I'm like, you know what, it's fine, it's very green, but it'll, it'll all work out. And on some other pages I'm like, absolutely not. What's the difference? My mood, I guess. And we're gonna have blue-green fronds this time. For something new and different. I suppose Lord of the Rings counts as somewhat of a childhood movie for me. I was, what, 14? I think. When Fellowship was released. Changed my life. And here we are, still wanting to read books about dragons and elves. <laughs> Not me stealing Legolas's hairstyles for ball hair attempts. So funny. So, so funny. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Okay, we need to blur out the edges of those ferns a little bit. Yes, this is my first time doing the folded doors. I, I haven't tried them before, but I was like, you know what? Let's give it a go. And I like them and I also don't. So, <laughs> remains to be seen whether I'll do them again. But they're sticking around for February at least. On some of my other ones, like because there's some here that I did this on, I might do it again. I did like the tiniest little bit of paint. Ooh, I just put my hand in a wet spot. Um, <laughs> that sounded dirty. Oh, I want it to be slightly more yellow for this. Um, I just like link the whole thing together with some really light wash green. Could be fun. We'll see. Trying to get that perfect balance of Mostly water, a little bit of paint, but also not too much water for the page. And I have failed. That's a lot of water. It's okay though. We're going to distribute it. It'll be fine. There we go. I feel like it makes sense because it's over here as well. I 
And then once that feels good, we'll move on to these letters. Okay, so question. I haven't done it anywhere else in the setup, but we have established that I am a fan of novelty. So, do I hand letter these or do I stamp them like the others? I'm gonna do a poll. Um, it is less writing space. I cut the paper off last month. Um, so that did, probably didn't help very much. Um, because I, I fully like ran out of space. Oh, everyone's had some good quotes from, um, Cool Runnings. I love it. Icelandic name. It's a beautiful name. Oh, they wanted to ban Lord of the Rings. Wow. Um, I was attending, not a church, but youth group at the time, and they seemed to be all right with it, because, pardon the pun, but Lord knows, um, I would not shut up about it. <laughs> and they never said anything, so I guess they were okay. <clears throat> I feel like we're underexposed now. Just a touch. Um, let's do some little bits of detail layer because it will be weird and inconsistent. If, oh, I was making a poll, wasn't I? I forgot. I got distracted by comments because they're fun. Okay. Help me decide. Lenore says stamp. That is fair. Start a poll. Stamp or letter days. Stamp. Letter. Start poll! Alright, and I'm gonna detail while we work that out. Isn't it funny we like starting to really get the hang of it at the end and you're like, well, when are we done? <laughs> Glad I got the hang of it eventually. Watercolor always looks so much better once it's dry. <laughs> Oh, that's all the peps. Okay. Stamps are winning. We're going for consistency. 10.50 a.m. in Iceland. Interesting. So it is still Sunday morning for you. Oh, floral is lovely. I... I totally get you there. I, I fall for the florals all the time as well. Um, you can learn to draw them though, because that's the beautiful thing about flowers is that they're not perfect and they never look exactly the same as each other. So there's a little bit of room for, you know, a bit of messiness and imperfection. And but I think you can learn to draw them pretty easily because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm a couple of weeks behind on my, I was wanting to try and paint something once a week, like a follow a tutorial or something to try and improve, but I'm a few weeks behind because I was unwell in January, so I'm like, I'm trying to catch up. I thought I would have learned some more by now, but we work with what we've got. This is definitely the kind of theme I would have done in my 2021 journal, <laughs> just with markers instead of with paint. Oh, 
Okay. Cute, 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 cute. I want to add a tiny little bit of variation into some of my big leaves. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of great doing this on live because normally if I'm just doing this on my own, I'm still talking to myself. You guys give me someone to talk to. Many someones. Oh wow, band jean shorts. That's wild. Happy time zone, Lady Cat Lord Kitty. Okay. We've we have the stamps in the lead, but it's close, so I'm gonna just check. What are we done with 17 votes? Apparently we've got 28 people watching, so I'll leave it there for a second longer. Good morning from Beirut, wow. Sending evening wishes from the future in Brisbane. Oh, it's, it's really helpful, Kelly. <laughs> I do quite often just go and pester my partner and be like, do you think I should do this or this? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a guitarist and I'm like, okay, okay, well, I'm going to do the thing I thought then. And he's like, yep, you should. Okay. We'll leave that for a bit. Stamp is winning by about 10% right now. So perhaps we will stick with the stamps. Consistency does maketh a theme, after all. And we did plan the size of these boxes for stamps. So, not boxes, but you know, the little smudgy smudges of paint. So it's probably smart for me to stick to them because that's what's gonna fit in the space. All right, end poll. <laughs> he tries, yeah, Chris will try to, if I really need him to. Um, all right, we're stamping. We're doing it. We're going to stamp. Which is probably smart, because they're stamping right there. So, you know. And they... I've been really trying to do the like efficiency stamping thing lately because it's like a little bit of brain training. <laughs> Actually, I've gotten back onto Wordle in the past couple of weeks. Someone from my dance community was playing it and I was like, oh, Wordle. Wordle was so much fun. And now I am playing Wordle again every day. <laughs> Oh, no, Tuesday and Thursday are different days. Erin, calm down. I think I'm just going to do these. Oh, goodness, that was nearly bad. I'm just going to do these ones a little bit more straightforward. I can feel my brain starting to get tired. It's uh, almost 9pm for me, which means we've been doing this for... What time do we start? 6.30. Two and a half hours? <laughs> Yikes. That's longer than any live stream I've ever done. I can't believe you guys are still here. I'm like Ferris Bueller at the end. We're like... It's over. Go home. It's not over yet, though. But we're not far off. As long as it's what you actually want to do. Yeah, I agree. Oh yes, Wordle's so good! Oh, I really like that, Kelly. That's that's such a lovely way to spend time. 
Um, I feel like all of my real life journaling friends are like here in the chat or have been. Um, we have a really wonderful stationery store in Brisbane called Stash World. And Stash World runs a monthly stationery hang called Sticker Hangs. And it's fantastic. It's so good. Um, got to make some friends. It was really nice. People who journal. Because I don't really have anyone else in my life who does this whole journaling thing. I've had some friends who tried it out and kind of did it for a while. But, you know, it's fun to be around people who get it. But that's only monthly and I missed out on a ticket for this month. It's like sold out already because they only have so much space. So, you know, I do have a ticket for March though. This is officially my favorite spread of all the weeklies. This is so cute. It would be much faster if I had a gray ink pad, but I don't, I do not own one, so. We do it the old fashioned, well, <laughs> no, this isn't the old fashioned way. We do it the hard way, but the use what you have way. What am I doing Saturday? Can feel the mistakes waiting to happen, yeah. <laughs> I, I've almost reached for the wrong stamp a couple of times, but I've caught myself so far. When I caught myself, I had to stop myself. <laughs> Someone mentions Twilight once. Next minute, Aaron singing Paramore songs. Yeah, I need to blink some more. I'm gonna need to go put some eye drops in when we're done here. Notes, because notes is not a day. Sarah Beth, one day, one day, we're gonna be in the same place. We're not gonna need the portal. We're gonna be confused because we'll have two of everything around us. We'll be like, is this yours or is this mine? I don't know. Um, and it's gonna be great. I look forward to it. We'll make it happen one day. Let's do some numbers. from the 19th. Leave that out because I'm going to need it again in a sec. 20. Twenty. I'm going to do the one so I know where I am. Two. Nah, we could never. We could never, Sarah Beth. And also, one for you. Cute. <laughs> Lock away your stationery. Honestly, no. I, I would be very happy to let you take some. I end up with too much as it is. Um, not this week's video, because that will be the tea theme. Almost, I almost messed it up. But the one following is actually going to have a little giveaway in with some stationery, some gently used stationery that I am decluttering, so keep an eye out for that. <laughs> not open yet, can't enter it yet because the video is not done yet, but coming soon. I 
I, I love Kelly's suggestion of setting it up yourself. Like it's, um, it's, you, you need the space for it, I guess. If you have public library space or something that you could use, then that's great. We have about eight to 10 people at Sticker Hangs and that seems to be comfortable. Everyone can kind of chat with each other. We can pass around bits of stationery. We have one adorable girl who was interviewing people last time to find out like what their favorite pens were and stuff, which was really fun. Um, but yes, that is work and time that you have to spend doing that. So I also would understand if you were like, I, I, don't, I don't have the time or the brain space, but it is very, very fun. Um, oh, you know, plant the seed in somebody else's mind and hopefully they'll do it. So this is where we are at with weeklies. We've got, that one was already done. Grow where you're planted. I love this so much. It's so cute. Weekly under there and spending logs. A cute weekly with some color, which just makes me so happy. And I feel like it's decorated because we have these ones on the corners, you know, and then the last one, which is just so pretty. And this one can also, when I'm using that weekly, can bend back this way so that I can still see this over here. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it so much. This was so much fun, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for your unending patience because I know this was a long one. I hope you were getting lots done if you were journaling along with me. And that makes me really happy. I like that we can journal together by distance. Oh, it's so cute, so cute. Now I'm tempted to do the, the little green background on this one too, but I'm not gonna do it now because my eyelids are getting very heavy. So <laughs> that can be a, a later Erin problem when I potentially get bored with this one. <laughs> Might happen then. <laughs> Something to do, you know? All right, good job journal. Oh, it needs a clean. It's starting to get a little bit of the chunky. Let's just do that. All right. Thank you again so much, everyone. Um, well, we have a live stream scheduled. It will be in for, for um, channel members. So anyone who's got a little green uh, name on the screen right now, I can catch up with you again tomorrow morning. I have a live stream scheduled for members. So we can do it again tomorrow if you like, um, which will possibly still be today for you, Shima, possibly. Let me just pull up. So I can tell you exactly what time it is because I don't remember off the top of my head. Cat hair on my phone. Um, tomorrow at 8 a.m. my time, so in 10 hours. If you want to join in for that, you can get YouTube to send you a little notification if you would like. Um, and we're going to just do some junk journaling and hang out because I missed our January live stream. So. That's gonna be fun. Good night, Gloria. Thank you for hanging out. I love you so much. Thank you. 10 p.m. You're okay. Might be a bit tricky then. No worries at all, Shima. Well, there will always be more. There will always be more live streams, and we will have our uh, page majors chat in a couple of weeks as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Sarah Beth. Thanks, Santanella. Thanks, Marie. <laughs> yeah, two in a day, Emma. <laughs> Lots of streamies. I'm going to leave all my stuff set up and just come straight back into it. Although I won't need the ring light tomorrow. It'll be much nicer soft light. Thanks, Jen. See you in 10 hours, maybe if you're free, but also if you're asleep, like no judgment here. See you tomorrow, Courtney. And hopefully Jacqueline, if she's alive because covid you know thanks kelly okay i'm gonna press the button now bye bye